Tony Romo is out for the season with a back injury. Oh no. <sighs> Sorry, Cowboy fans. That sucks. That one hurts. Philadelphia Eagles, congratulations. You're going to the playoffs. That sucks. I mean, no matter what you have to say about Tony Romo, he's a good quarterback. You know, I, I'm just sitting here. I'm thinking of a list to do a top 20 quarterbacks. And I turn on the TV, and breaking news right away, Tony Romo out for the remainder of the season with a back injury. Even if they're to make the playoffs and somehow beat the Philadelphia Eagles, they're going to do it without Tony Romo. The quarterback who's going to step in is former Chicago Bears quarterback Kyle Orton, who, he's not bad. I mean, he was a starter in Denver, starter in Chicago, um, started for the Chiefs for a little bit, beat the Green Bay Packers. That was their first loss of the season, and the season where they only lost one or two games. But... I don't think he's going to cut it for this one. Tony Romo is so important to this team, especially with a team with no defense at all. You know, th this this sucks for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I, I had them, you know, I, I, I was kind of off and on with who I thought would win, the Eagles or the Cowboys. And, you know, right now I was kind of on the Cowboys. I think last night I said the Eagles, but that was just kind of an in-the-moment thing after I saw what the Eagles did to the Bears, but uh, this sucks um, for the Cowboys. Uh, something that I was thinking is, you know, what if Kyle Orton comes in and plays great and they and he wins the big game? Something that Tony Romo had, has never done before is win that big game to put his team in the playoffs. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think anyone thinks it's going to happen. This is this is a low blow for Cowboys fans and this Cowboys team. Um, someone that's really going to have to step up is Des Bryant. Des Bryant's going to have to step up, and Des Bryant's going to have to play. He's going to have to help out Kyle Orton. If he wants to make the playoffs, they got to help out Kyle Orton. The whole entire re receiving court. Beasley, Austin, Bryant, and Whitten all can definitely help Kyle Orton. Because th th this Eagles defense, I mean, they, they're not that good, but as of late, they're playing really well. And then their offense is great. Um, I, I think the Cowboys are going to lose this game now. But it might not... I just... It might not be as bad as some people think. Uh, just because Kyle Orton is a pretty good quarterback. But it, it's... I'm not going to... I'm not going to put the blame on Kyle Orton if they lose. Uh, I'm going to put the blame more on the defense if they lose. Um, although, you know, it, it's, it's just hard saying because it's been a long time since Kyle Orton's played an NFL game or started an NFL game. Um, you know, he, he could very well go out and throw a touchdown and interception a couple hundred yards, have just a mediocre game. Um, another thing you're going to have to do is give the ball to DeMarco. DeMarco's going to have, DeMarco needs to have the ball. <coughs> Honestly, I don't think this coaching staff is very good. Uh, this should be Jason Garrett's last year, if you ask me. Um, but, you know, this sucks. This one sucks, guys. Sorry, Cowboys fans. Peace out, everybody.